Hello everyone, this is Sonia with Stamping Around the Dining Room Table. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator. If you do not have a demonstrator of your own, I would be happy to be yours. You can go to my webpage at stamparoundthetable.stampinup.net where you can find out more about me, you can see our products, you can place an order, you can sign up to do a workshop or join my team. Now, I'm just trying to look here on my computer because it looks like maybe this, hopefully you guys you can see this okay bring it up a might be a little too bright there but I'm trying it's been a while since I was there now you can maybe see it a little better it has been a while since I was um, making a video um, just a, a lot was going on and um, Trying to get my daughter and son-in-law moved to Ohio. Um, and now that I'm not quite as young as I used to be. It took quite a bit out of me. We, it was kind of like we did it in three days. Went down, um, unloaded, did some work around to get them at least partially settled. And then came back the next day. So in three days, it was really a lot. And 30 years ago... Even probably 20 years ago, I could have <laughs> stood, a, stood it a little better. But anyway, so I'm back. Um, I'm still trying to figure out, I'm trying to rearrange things a little bit. So I'm still not sure at this point I'm going to be adjusting when I'm going to be doing my videos. I'm going to I'm going to work on what can I do so it will be consist, more consistent for you. Okay, so... All right, so before I get into today, I'm going to show you the um, the month of May's um, paper pumpkin kit. I am behind on that, and quite, so by now, quite a few people have shown you their alternates and things like that. But I still wanted this was just a good place for me to start. And but before I get into that, I wanted just to share with you this month. We have a special, our designer series paper that you can find in the annual catalog. Let me just get it in here for you so that you can, on page 129 to 1, between 129 and 132, okay? So... These papers, so these three here, I just want to make sure that I'm telling you all the correct things. So the Bright and Beautiful, the, con the Countryside Inn, the Delightfully Eclectic. On this page, the Earthen Elegance, the Fresh as a Daisy, the Glorious Gingham, the Inked Botanicals. The Let's Go f Fishing. Oh, then it's out. And Lay Shops. Okay, here's a little different order here than on this page. Masterfully Made. Stargazing in the Zoo Crew. And one that is from our the Hello Irresistible paper from our online exclusives. Those all are going to be 15% off. Okay, so they all are going to be, let's see, 15% off. So the majority of them were $12.50. Oh, the Delightly Eclectic is on there also. I was thinking it wasn't, so I did, I don't know, I did show that to you. All right, so let me just look at these. So some of these were $12.50. Many of them, most of them were $12.50. I'm just looking here. So, and the twelve fifty at fifteen percent off now is ten sixty two. There were a few that were a different price. The the delightfully eclectic. This is one you get more paper in it. I think there's like let me just look in here and tell you. So it was more expensive because forty eight sheets for each of twelve double sided ones. So that was more. So that was thirty dollars. So now it's down to twenty-five fifty. Okay. The other thing that was a different price. 
I just saw it here. Where was it? The gingham. The gingham is a six by six, and it's originally ten fifty, so now it's eight ninety two. All right. So there's a few things, but anyway, whatever price they are in the catalog, right now for the month of June, between the first and the thirtieth of June, you get fifteen percent off. So that, you know, so that's a savings right there. All right. So. So that's one of the things I wanted to point out to you that we're having that. The other thing which I don't have a paper about, but if you sign up to become, to, if you join my team, so if you sign up to be a demonstrator, um, you, this month, through the month of June, again, between the 1st and the 30th, you will get $30 more in free merchandise that you can choose from the catalog. So for $99 this month, you'll get $155 worth of stuff instead of $125. Okay, so I did. I wanted to show you that. And then the other thing is every month they come out with a new kit. And again, these you can find in uh, online exclusives. And oh, I put in this plastic and I, there, I hold it like that. It's called Boho Beach Kit. And it makes for each of these two designs. And look at the, you can, hopefully you can see, like the nice, like, watercolor -y. It just, like, I, I really, I just love the, the, <laughs> the cardstock and the envelopes. And if you see down here, this goes, it's the whole card base on the back. So when you close it, the back of it has that too, which for me means I would cut that in half and have twice as many. Okay. And I may also use um, some of the envelope as DSP. Okay. So that's, that's me though. You don't have to, you can just do it exactly the way they show you, or you can add your other, any other um, stamps and paper you have that, would go along with it okay to add it and I don't think I got to show you this last month because I don't I think that after this came out, I don't know that I really um, had the time to to do this from last month's it was confetti birthday kit and they're like little there's little confetti like little shaker cards okay this makes nine cards three of each okay so both of those you can find and along with others, like I have, I have everything in here that is in there. Sometimes, like this one right now, I didn't get to get the kaleidoscope one yet. That one is um, back ordered or not available or whatever you want to call it. Right now, this is not available right now. Hopefully, that will be coming back. Okay. Um, the one thing with the online exclusives, you can see right there when you look at them whether they are available or whether they. You know whether they are not, and they'll just say not available at this time if they're not. If they're not, all right. Enough of that. I'm going to show you now. This is the box for this month's paper pumpkin. The box itself is, I think, is beautiful. Okay, it goes down along the edge here, not on the sides, but the front wraps kind of around down to here. And so when this comes in the mail, it's got the plastic wrap all over it. So I took the plastic wrap off this one. Okay, and when you open it, and you'll see there's always this little sheet here, one that talks about something, you know, about this month, something with this month. It gives you um, scan to shop exploring and color add-on. They do have an add-on with it, which I'll show you in a moment. Scan to shop coordinating project products. And then on the back, it gives you a little... Um, little, what's the word I want? Um, preview of next month. Okay. So this is the June kit. It's called Welcome In. It does coordinate with, from the annual catalog, the Countryside Inn. If I can find that here. I think it's, do I know the page number? I don't, nope, wait a second, I'll get it real quickly. I didn't think about it. I should have had it. 62 to 63 if you have a, it's in here. And it has this blue and white paper, okay? It does have a stamp set and die set, so it's got a, a bundle. This is one 
stamp here just so that everyone understands one big stamp and if you want just the stamp you can buy that um the bundle includes the stamp set and the dies and look the dies are like little it's like each little piece smaller and smaller so you could cut the whole thing you could cut it up into smaller sections okay and it also has it's you can't really see it here too well but it does have an embossing folder all right now so next i will be showing this hopefully in june and it does have a little add-on which is three small dies it was like i think it was six uh, six or eight dollars i can't remember right now um, and when I looked yesterday, I didn't get a chance to look today, which I should have, but I didn't. It was still available because those are only available while supplies last. And it was like a little vase and it had two li a little flower, I think some leaves. I can't. No, right here. Yes. This vase, that little flower and the leaves. The flower does, um, I think that cuts out one of the stamps that comes with that. So that's next month. All right. So for this month, we're ex we're exploring in color. So that's when you open it, you'll see this month, something about this month, something about next month. Then you'll see there is a little ink spot, and it, they gave us one of the new in colors, copper clay, for this month. All right, and then you get a stamp set, and it has seven stamps. And I'll just show you, I did stamp them already because I. Between, I end up between myself and my sister. We have two kits. So it says, Happy birthday. Life is meant for good friends and great adventures. It doesn't matter where you're going. It's who you have beside you. Cheers to another adventure. Then it's got, let's see, a compass, a hiking boot, and a mug. Okay. So, look at this beautiful blue paper. Oh, I always forget at first. I want to tip this out because if I try to lift it, it just rips. And I like to try to save that paper because I can maybe use it later with a gift or something with, even with paper pump, my paper pumpkin sometimes. Okay, so I like to put that down in there. Whoops. Then, everything else, all that's in here. A plastic bag just to make sure everything you know stays where it belongs doesn't go flying out so I should have got my scissors there all right and then inside here they gave us some twine okay, like a kind of a grayish Right now, I don't see the end of it, but anyway, so there's that. They gave us some some um, dimensionals. And we've got, wow, well, look at that. We've got envelopes and card bases, which we'll look at closer in a moment. They gave us some stickers. This is an extra. Enjoy the outdoors, explore. This little boot's got some flowers and paper pumpkin. All right, then hope and then here's some little glue dots. So let's take a closer look here. So there's they have nine cards, three have three designs so, and the and matching envelopes. So let me you know, pull all these out here. So the first now look they did front and back. Okay, so this folds right there. And, okay, so there's three of those, and these would be the envelopes that match that. Okay, the back's just white with this blue, so when you close it, if you use the envelope to put your card in, let me get a hold of here, it's like this, so there's the front, there's the back, okay. Then there's this one, which has, you know, the mountains, this little stream, a canoe, and this would go with that. Put this to the side. And then we've got the mountain scene with, 
you know, like there's mountains in the background, a forest, a meadow. And the one that goes with that, the envelope of that is this one. Okay. Then it also gives us, I just put these to the side here, these little, so we've got three of these little, I don't know what you call them, doodads here. Three of this, three of this. So we got these little things. We've got three binoculars, three compasses, and then we've got Oh, there's two. All right, we got four of each of these. I just realized, like, wait, hey, what's going on? Okay, so right here. So these are all the pieces to the kit oh to the kit and then here is the directions the instructions and it shows you on the front a picture of how they recommend doing it on the very back it shows you everything that's in the kit and down down here it tells what's in it's in, supplies are nine cards and nine envelopes and then it gives you the coordinating colors so i'll give you that now they just fell on the floor so one minute i'll pick these things up I don't want flying here. Okay. Now, they always have an alphabetical order. I'm just going to go through the way I have them here. So this is Mossy Meadow and Daffodil Delight. Then they also include in this the five in, new in colors. So this is pebbled. Make sure I'm saying that correctly. Pebbled Path. I started to say that. I thought, no, I think I said, thinking, remembering incorrectly. Moody Mauve. Boho Blue. Wild Wheat. And this, depending on the light, can look either almost like a non metallic gold or it can look greenish or yellowy green. Okay. And this color is copper. What is it called? something copper copper clay okay so those these are the right here these are the five in colors okay plus they added two other colors mossy med so the mossy meadow and the daffodil delight are from our base colors and then the pebble path the moody mauve the boho blue the um wild wheat and the clay the copper clay are all the in colors all right <coughs> excuse me over here they also have you can watch detailed instructions on the kit when you scan this qr code they do show a few alternate projects here and um just more information here about the paper pumpkin so when you open this right down here this bottom one just shows you kind of all what you need for each card everything that you need for each card then up here it tells you it just has in pictures pretty much step by step kind of step by step but i mean in pictured steps for each card for okay now i did already put together some cards although i already did a little bit of um of a i didn't follow their directions exactly but then i'm just gonna let you look at these one more time just for my other kit they're just on blocks already all right so i'm just gonna because i wanted to do extra be able to do extra stuff i kind of they're not exactly the same size but i i made my own and i have a 
It was smaller than this. It was only about this big, but I have a, a punch that does those kind of corners. So I just cut it about the size I wanted, put one end in and just did each end so I could get it as long as I wanted. I made some extras to look like that shape. I made extras like this and you either can use like there's a few punches that they don't do we do have a few different punches that you can make this with or you can even just cut it with using your um scissors and then these i didn't have anything and i didn't get a chance to, we may have um the other thing is if you don't have punches you also could have dies that possibly could do some of these things i decided instead of trying to worry about doing this i can just use little rectangles or squares okay and how they show these in here is like for example this one that's got the flag den they just kind of did they stamped on this and just kind of either did something like this or like this okay and this one has let me get it here had this on it okay and you'll see in my cards here in just a minute and then this one had they're here somewhere. Where did I put them? Oh, wait. Did I have that backwards? Well, these just went on there. Sorry. Just that one over. Okay. And then, and in the stamps, you'll see we also have, we do have, um, we have this, but we don't have any of these, which that would have been nice, but I, we might have something like that in one of our other, I didn't look close to take time to look at that yet, but we may have some available in our annual catalog. So anyway, but we have other things that can mix and match with this set in the catalog. And you just, as you always say, there's no limit to your imagination. Okay. So, I will show you, oh, and then this, for May, for the May kit, we had add-ons, which included some card bases, and this is, wait, this is from, let me get this, I got all my stuff here, I tried to get these all out to be, they had included six each of three different card bases, and matching envelopes for each so that's 18 cards in the add-on so these had they're just printed on the front not the back okay so we had this in the back you can see is the moody mauve so there's a moody mauve card base to go with that whoop so this is there they had this one and again with the copper clay. So all of these had like a color on the back. Okay. And then here's another like mountain with a stream through it. And with a boho blue. Okay. So. So there's six each of each of these. So that's 18. And I believe there's still some of these left that may still be available in the online only for the Paper Pumpkin subscribers. You have to be a Paper Pumpkin subscriber to get it. So, all right. So now I'm going to show you what I did because I just want to, let me bring this back here. These were all, this is all the same one, but one... I'm going to show you before, but let me grab one of each here so I can show you again. Maybe if I can grab one of each here. Oh, wrong one. Here, I know. It's right here. Where is it? The envelopes are getting in my way. Come on. I know it's here. Um, here it is. All right. No, no, it's the same one. Yeah, there was the canoe. Where's the, here it is. Is that, the, here it is. Okay, finally, oh my goodness. And I'll grab one of each of these envelopes again. It's trying to be organized. <laughs> okay, 
So see how it goes around the back, and so when you fold it, you know, that's on the back. So what I decided that I was not going to do it that way. Many times, oh, here, I may be a little close. Let me just come out again. All right. As many times I will do something the way that they recommend and then do my, just so you can see, and then I'll do my own thing. But I just couldn't do it by the way they did because then this is on the back and I just felt it was a waste. So I cut these in half already. Okay, but then what I did was, and oh wait, let me just show you again. This is the envelope for this. This is the envelope for this one. And this is the envelope for this. Okay. So, so what I did was... I cut them in half, and then I chose a card base that I thought would go well with it. But I did them. Get my directions here so I can show you. Put it away here. But I still, I did one of each the way that they suggested. I just had cut it down. I just cut it apart. So it was, made, and because I I don't like the ridge, there, it always leaves a little ridge. So I just trimmed it just a smidge, just so that it would, you know, would be fit. And then you see whatever color I chose, you just see a little bit of the edge around there. But this, and how well you can see, I'll bring this up here for a minute. My when it shows on the computer, it's always behind where I'm at. So this, see, it said the happy birthday. So this is that so hopefully pull my lights up just a little so this is that one. i did it pretty close to how they did it all right the same with the canoe just hold it for a second so you can see it and then the same with the mountain and the like the out, like the trail. Okay, so I did them. So I copied the, I did it the way they said. I just cut it in half so I had twice as many cards I could make. Okay, so this is the way they suggested. This one's a happy birthday. And I, I all I did so far on the inside was just did a little, this one I decided to put a mug on the inside. Doesn't matter where you're going, it's who you beside you and I put a boot in there and then life is meant for good friends and great adventures and I put a little um compass in there and I happen to choose for the daffodil light for the back of this one the copper clay for that and the pebbled path for this but you could choose whatever because there's so many colors in it you could choose whatever you wanted but this these little things they put them behind this so that's the way they did it they put made it like wrapped it around and made a bow with that they this they twirled around i never have it slid down underneath there i never had the best luck i thought i had them i may have to see if i can put a little more sticky under there to hold that and so that one's behind there. So I maybe did those a little. And then this, oh, I got a little, I didn't see that before. So I'm not sure how that, when that got on there, because it wasn't when I first did it. But anyway, happy birthday. So that's, those are the way that they suggested. I'll leave those there. So then I went, okay. Let's see which one do I want to show you next. I thought I had, wait a minute, did one fall? These are a little, I think these got a little out of whack here. Just a second. No, I guess I didn't do that yet. So then I also, just got to look here. I've got some my sister made and some I made, and I'm just trying to make sure I get them all. All right, I guess that's it. So this was one of the add-ons, okay? And I really just... This one I didn't do much. I just folded it in half. And then in the annual catalog is the 2023 20, to 2025 in color jute trim. So I got this and I used 
the copper clay and I made just a little bow and just stuck it on here and I said cheers to another adventure and in the annual, annual catalog they also have make sure I'm telling you the right now, name 2023 to 2025 in colored dots so on here I chose just to do the littlest one of the the yellow the wheat right there and on the inside the inside's white I didn't do anything on the inside yet okay so but that was a quick and easy card and I just so that's what I did with that one then at first I wasn't thinking I would cut down the the cards but I saw somebody did I mean the cards the envelopes because you know sometimes I do somebody did and and I went oh I like what they did with that and they just used it like this or this could even be inside you could even if you wanted which I hadn't thought of that really before but let's just say oh they're all going the other direction right now of course there's one which one was it I thought I just had them over here no I don't there's one of them that goes the other way this one and it would go with that one well too so see this one look it goes like that you could even but you don't have to have those on there but you could even wanted that could be the inside whether you just have the white on the back whether you add the a layer of green there but it could be like this with whatever you have on the outside maybe this cheers for another adventure doesn't matter where you're going it's who you have beside you you could even do that but in this case i wanted it on the front so i just did it there i cut it down and i just stamped one of the sayings there and put that in for later when i decide what i'm going to use that for it could be a birthday could be a father's day card and i didn't pull out my um father's you know my ones that have the father's day sentiments but that would that's a possibility okay so then i wanted to show you what my sister did she came up with these great ideas she wanted to do like a easel card and she wanted to see she wanted to cut the bottom so we, let me bring this back over again so again this we cut this in half okay so once it's cut in half and, and i don't want to necessarily fold this right now so but once it's cut in half that leaves you with just the canoe and i have some already cut in half somewhere here because I had them all. Of course, because I want to show it to you, I can't find what I did with it. Oh, right here. Here we go. I knew they were here. There's that part. Here. Here they are, cut in half. So it's like this. We cut it in half. Okay, so there it is, cut in half. See, it's this part, cut in half. And she wanted, so what she did is that she cut it, it was about one and a three quarters I think but she cut it so that it was right below that little island and then the part that was left so she put on the inside to make it be the stopper and did it like that and then she said well I'd like to know that let me try it with this one so this one again this one she cut it's a little smaller because she cut it really couldn't she cut it just a little below so you got some of the shadow there and the rest she just put on the bottom okay so how i'll just explain to you how this card is made this is just a regular card base this is let me just bring over the paper when we make card bases from our eight and a half by eleven there's two ways we do it we either score it at four and a quarter and cut it at five and a half and that gives you a card base that goes like this this way okay or if you wanted you yeah like this that goes like that or it could go like this then the other way we can cut it is to score it at five and a half and cut it at four and a quarter and that gives you this type of a card which again you can open it this way if you want or you can open it like this. So she started with that card base. And then the front here of it, she just folded in, inward into there. So it's like half of it. You can just fold, just fold it in half. 
And then, whatever she had cut off the bottom, she she put it on using um, dimensionals just right along the edge there. See, just along the bottom. And then, <coughs> sorry, the bottom of the front that she folded, she put the bottom of this along there. So when it's when it's like this, it fits in the envelope because it's a regular size card. So here's a regular envelope. It fits right inside. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. And before she, and she maybe even did, she did this before she put that on, but she stamped. First, she stamped off most of these, and then she just couple places she just put one that was full strength with the boho blue and with the the copper clay she just wrote cheer, she stamped cheers to adventure then she glued this on so when you when you hope take it out of the envelope you see the cheers to adventure you open it and life is meant for good friends and great adventures <coughs> and then you can set it up on your desk mantle whatever and if you're looking at it straight on, it looks like this. Okay, so there's that. This other one, she used this piece, as I said, and she cut it just a little below there. And it was more like an inch and a half, this one. But she did, she pretty much did the same thing, but she put mugs on this one. And she decided this time she wanted to do do it just a little differently. Put this little piece of white that also had mugs on it. Okay, and this is, it doesn't matter where you're going, it's who's beside you. Okay, and then the same thing. So the same. So again, see, here's the card base. <clears throat> this is 11 inches, scored at five and a half. This is four and a quarter. Then the front gets folded in like that. And you can score, you can either score it before you do it or just fold it in. A lot of times I end up just folding it in because sometimes when I score it, it becomes a little too long. And then I'm I, just something about it. I always have a hard time getting that half scored properly for some reason. And then she just added a few of the rhinestone basic jewels. And she put a little bit of Wink of Stella on the clouds in both of these. Okay. So it's really not that not difficult to make this card. Okay. I'm not making one of those today, but I wanted you to see how to do it. Then, oh, and she just, for these, she just used the white and she, like she used the compass there, she put it on the front here. She used the mug there, she put it on the front here. Okay. So, oops, I'm not going to, right now I'm just going to put those to the side. Then the other, she did a couple others. This one she, and this is, again, my favorite fold, just kind of like this one. You take your, your card base, and in this case, she, this time it's five, it's, it's eight and a half this way, scored at four and a quarter, and five and a half tall. And then, so it's scored at halfway point, and then she folded it back on itself. And again, you can score it if you want. And she cut this, this part. I got one right here. She cut that in half and she put one here and one there. She stamped the happy birthday and then cut that in half so when it's closed, they're together. And then she on either end she put some of these blue from the um the in color dots. Okay, and then she just put one of each of those there, and life is meant for great friends and great adventures. Pretty cool, I think. Then, this next one, she actually went even a little step further. Let me grab the, wait a minute, it's right here. Here, nope, not that one. Unless we used to follow those. Not finding it. Of course, because I wanted to show. All right, so this one. I don't, I don't have it right here. Where's the, 
She used the front half of this card, okay? And there it is. But she didn't just cut it and put it on. What she did was she she cut here, right along here, fussy cut along there. And then she put it on and all she that one doesn't have any dimensionals behind it. She just set, she just glued it on top of this. Then actually none of these I don't think she put she didn't put dimensionals on any of these then she cut the next little piece out and she along the edge she just kind of took the the marker and just like along the edge so it makes it stand out more so then because this is flat down and then this the top is up on on that so it gives it another dimension then this is on that so see when you come down I can my finger I don't know if you can tell from my finger, but here. So as this slides down, if I can get a hold of this, see it goes bump, bump, bump. So see there? It's kind of hard to make it jump, but it does. So she cut this actually in three places, there, there, and there. Accented it with a black marker and then just put it a little bit on each one. You could if you wanted even put a little some of the dimensionals behind to make it even more she thought about she could have done even another like here or some of these but she decided she was just going to do that and then on the inside this is what she did on the inside okay so with very little oh i just wait a minute i think i held this up too far i decided to sit down and, so let me bring it back here i'm sorry you know, it's hard because however I am, the camera is a little different angle. So see, this is flat, and then she cut that with a little black around, or maybe it was even the pebbled path that may have been along there. And then she cut the next one. So each one, she just put it over the one that she put down first, and it just makes it stand up just a little more. I don't know, it's hard to see it. I don't even see the dimension even. But, and because she just made it just a little smaller than this, it still gives you a ni the nice border around the edge. Okay. So, so those are, all the, this is what we did. We spent yesterday together doing some stamping. Okay. And now, I have no idea how long I've been going because I didn't really pay attention to the exact time I turned things on but I have three I'm hoping to do three for you that I think overall they're going to go pretty quickly I'm not going to worry about the insides I'm just going to focus on the outsides so I'm going to show you when I the ones that I made which are here somewhere of course I put them to the side and all right. Well, the first one I did had done was the cows. Oop. And of course, oh, here, here they are right down here on the bottom. Oh my goodness. So this was the first one I did. Okay. And I had cut this apart. This was this side over here. Okay. And I put that one on yellow and this is what I did right here. And just basically, I just did this. Okay, very simple. Cut it in half. And I just kind of trimmed it down just a smidge so I could get just get a nice, very small border around it. This one is now on the um, mossy metal. And on there they did the happy birthday and they just did use these things. Oops. I wanted to see, where did I have, I just had, oh here it is, it slid over, wait a minute, they're going to fall, I don't want that to fall. So, and I made some extras, so if I wanted to do it kind of the way they did it, it could be like this, I thought I had some, I had some green ones, but it, the way this was tipped, it fell, I think. 
Of course, because I want the green ones. Now I'll just see real quick if I can find them. This is the one that maybe went down on the floor. So, of course, I'm not going to find them now. Maybe I didn't do green ones. I bet I didn't. I bet I just did. Anyway, I thought I did, but that's all right, because I would really probably do a green one on here. Or I could just do this. And, let's see here. This lady, I have, I was trying to be so organized, this always happens to me. Uh, I don't see them. I did, I did set it. There's only two here. Oh, that's why I did these colors. I didn't do that. All right. There's some green here. So, if I wanted, I could even. I'll just kind of show that I don't like how that. But, you can either do it with your. Um, I'm going to do it with this. With your. It's called the trimmer, or you can just do this. And I don't like the way that end is looking there, so I'm going to do this. And I want it a little longer. So you can even just follow along here. You can, some of our, um, we do have some dies that would do that for you. We have some um, different punches that you could do that with so on this one and like play this is not exactly let's see here sometimes you can even do it this way i want to make sure it's a little more in the center and it still might not be right but yeah anyway and this is anyway let me get a different one because doesn't look quite right next to the other one, but I'll grab it. This one looks better, I think. Anyway, so and you can do it kind of like this. And I'm just going to say, this is a thin one, so I will just do happy birthday on here. Could also have it be in yellow. Let me see. This happy birthday man. This may be too light, but let me just see here. I like it. If I don't, I can do a different color. Well, that's all right. I can even just do it kind of like this. Or I could do it kind of maybe more like that. That's why I'm going to do that one. And... I'm just gonna just kind of in the middle here, like wait, I did it, I wanted it like this. And just pop it up a little bit. Or you could put the green down flat and pop up the white, you know, it's whatever you want. Okay. that and where did I put the of course I'm not now I'm not oh here they are oh my goodness right in front of my face and do I want a yellow one there maybe I'm just gonna I think I'm just gonna put one there. If I wanted, I could have also done this color over here. Like just I'll just show you kind of what I did on the other one. I just made a bow. Here it is, I think. Yep. Or oh, I don't even have to do a bow, but let's see. If I don't do a bow, I can do more like a 
not maybe gotta make it a little longer so I can <laughs> so I can knot it. Sometimes it's just nice to not have to have a bow. Can because these are cards that could look masculine, but they because they're it's outdoors, so it could be anybody like this, and could even just go. Like that, and I usually use a dement or a glue dot, which could be one of these little ones. I'm going to use one of my bigger ones. There, this gives it just some, just a little different look. So there's that, and I do have, and then I would just put one of these in, and you know, stamp a little, some little thing down here, and. When, but usually I don't stamp the inside until I know who I'm giving it to. So, and today I didn't want to take up a lot of time doing the inside because I want to focus on the outside and I had three to do. Then what I wanted to show you, this was the back of one of the other ones. The other one, this one. This is the back of this one, okay? See that part. And I wanted to show you something. Now, this one, I'm going to, this is just a piece of five and a half by four and a quarter. And I wanted to have a little border around here. And I'm doing it this way because the card base itself is going to be white, although it could be the Moody Mauve if I wanted it to be. I'm going to show you. So here again, it this is eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter, five and a half this way, eight and a half this way, five and a half this way, and scored at four, four and a quarter. This is closed. Now, I'm going to take this and I'm going to, and again, I, you could score it or you can just do this. Just fold it back and then use your bone folder. And a lot of times I do it on both sides. And then I sometimes need to do it here again. And I'm going to put glue. It could be glue, it could be your tape runner. Whoop. Here. In here, just and this is going to go. You're just going to butt it up along those edges. It may not be exactly, but anyway, like that. And look, you have that's a simple Z fold card. And I maybe, anyway, I may not have lined up perfectly, but that's good. And then, again, you can put maybe something on the outside. I think where I might want this, like this. And let's see, this one. I'm going to, where is it? <clears throat> Come on. Here it is, I think. There. And this is kind of what they had us do before. It's like you kind of you wrap it around to it. They did do tell you how much to pull off. It was a little more than I needed, but I'm just going to do it quickly here. You know, a little longer. All right, do this and just leave that like that and do this and do it two or three times around. Okay. And then just going to put this underneath there. I hope you, I don't know how well you can see it because I got big hands, big fingers. Put this one underneath there if I can get it to go under there.
and then just make a little bow whoop nope didn't do it quite right maybe I do it this other way it's there so I do this there make this the bow so there this around so on camera it never goes quite as well on camera either no, I'm not the only person to say that. I've heard other people, other demonstrators say that. There. There. Okay. And you can trim it ahead of time, as I said. I just decided to do it. So then that, I'm going to put that here. Slide it up a little bit. And this is an extra one I made, copying what, you know, what they had. I'm going to stick this one right here, I think. I want to be able to see this. And this is what they used on there. I'm going to use... <laughs> okay. And what color do I want to do that in? I'm going to try the green, I think. Hopefully that'll look good. Okay. And that's halfway well and that's not too bad okay just like that and I'm gonna pop this up two three four hope that came off okay So there's that one. It's a little crooked, but it's all right. Then the third one, I wanted, I had to show you kind of what I, where is it? the one I did, I wanted to show you this, but it's just a little different. You, it's cut down a little differently. This, I left it big. This one I decided to cut that down even smaller. And I just and I just played around and this is what I did is I cut this first to the size I wanted and then I took the green and I played around with it and to see what color, what do I want for the background. I decided yellow here and this to be the mossy meadow. So oh before I do that I want to and that I wanted to stamp I said this one. Yep, so I gotta clean this one. I forgot that I'd chosen that for that, so I'm using the same stamp twice, but oh well. And I want the boho blue. Let me wipe this off. There. It's on the... There. And... Ah! Ooh. Good grief. I must have pushed too hard on there. Let me try this again. Okay. And I'm, I hadn't thought about it, but I think I'm going to pop this one up. Oh, 
hopefully you could hopefully I didn't go off camera with any of these. I don't think so because it looks like I'm kind of near the middle of the now this could either go straight like this, you could tip it a little. Let me tip this one just a smidge. Okay. And oh, I know what else I might do on the front. For the inside, I wasn't necessarily. But look, I had this little piece left from the front, and I thought, I'm going to decorate the inside with this. So I'm just going to put this. It's not. It's just a smidge smaller top to bottom. I'm going to do that just for something a little different. You don't necessarily have to do that. I just got thought I'm going to try it. So it's something different. And I got thinking maybe... put one of these up here it can almost look like maybe that looks like this could look like the sun not the biggest sun but hey it's been off in the distance just had that thought now when I was putting it together all right I'm gonna kind of clear the decks here a little if I can those are the three I wanted to make on camera for you. So let me see. Did this move a little? It might have. All right. Try and clear a lot of this stuff out of the way here. Real quickly so we have room. Now, it came with it. You could do all these with just the one color that came with it. You don't have to use the others. A lot of times, because I do have the big ones, I save those for other, the little ones for different things. And use my big, my full-size ink pads to do my projects. But, okay, so here we go. Let's see, these are the ones. First, let me do the one, put on the ones that the way they recommended them. Is it right here? So that one, this one, and the canoe. Well, it's close. It, it is a little bit, not exactly. I put the fronts together the way they recommended, but as I said to you, I, I played around and I did it a little differently. Then there's, these are some of my al other alternates that I did. Some with you and some. And then, see if I can get the ones my sister made also on here. Well, they all fit. I'm trying to look and see. Maybe let me move my blacks back here out of the way. When I can, I get as many of my... In this case, I could get all of them out. Sometimes there's too many to get them all out. But, okay, see if I can get these all here so you can kind of see all of them. And I still have a lot more supplies left, so I can make many, many more. Okay, so let me see. Kind of let it catch up to where I'm at. Yeah, this can go over just a smidge more. So that hopefully we can see all of them. Pretty much, pretty much can see them. If I move these up just a little more, you can see those there. There we go. I think you can maybe see. Ta-da! All right. 
and in the comments i will down here below on facebook i will put um stills of the picture of the cards okay so there we go i hope that um even if you weren't able to get this stamp this um kit that you maybe could get some ideas from this from products that you do have um so that you could make your own fun cards okay thanks so much everyone for watching i hope you have a good rest of the week and hopefully i can we'll be able to be back on um later this week to do some more with this with these and um just looking forward to it so till we meet again my friends happy crafting Bye bye